pleasures in doing 30 or so programmes on tenors and operetta for Radio 2 have been the letters from you. Many have been extremely knowledgeable and perceptive. For example, Colin Edwards of Dronfield, who commented that I often seem to be comparing singers to one particular tenor. He asked when I'd be dealing directly with the man in question. Well, Colin, today's the day. Land of Smiles, recorded by Richard Tauber in 1935 in London. Tauber was born in Austria in 1891, not as many reference books say 1892. He was the illegitimate son of a theatrical liaison. His mother was a soprano, and for several years he didn't even know his father. When they met, they liked each other instantly. If ever there was a case of blood will out, it was Richard Tauber he was destined to become one of the most loved singers ever. We often forget that his early career was in opera and at the very highest level. For years he was the star of both the Berlin and the Vienna State Operas. If you ask me just how good he was, I'd say that I never listened to one of his records without marvelling at the way he combined total involvement with musical insight. No singer undertaking the role of Don Jose in Carmen, for instance, should fail to hear Tauber, who'll remind him that Bizet knew best when it came to the dynamic markings, and that Jose was a village lad in uniform who got involved with the sexiest girl in Spain, not a heroic character full of top notes and bravado. By 1926, 
it was well known that Tauber could tackle anything. So when the tenor booked to sing Karlaf in Dresden's glittering German premiere of Puccini's Turandot fell ill four days before the first night, it was Tauber who not only saved the day, but earned himself rave notices as well. Here he is, recorded that very year, entreating the little slave girl Liu, who's in love with him, not to cry. Alba saving the day in Dresden's famous premiere of Turandot. We hear a lot of nonsense nowadays about how broad-minded modern opera stars are because they occasionally let their hair down and sing a spot of Lloyd Webber. Crossing over, I think they call it rather fatuously. Tauber was doing it almost daily in the 20s. He'd leave the opera house and pop round to a nightclub where he'd charm the patrons with his own love of singing. One of my favourite CDs lets us hear him with Berlin's Dios Bela Orchestra. Dios Bela was the pseudonym of a violinist called Goltzmann, who as a young man deputised for a band leader called Bela Dios when the latter, unfortunate, died of a drug overdose. Goltzmann liked the name, turned it back to front and became Dios Bela. Soon his cafe orchestra was the most famous in Europe and he'd give Tauber a fat fee for working his special kind of magic on popular tunes, like this Irving Berlin standard recorded in 1927 under the unexpected title Heimweh, Homesickness. <laughs> Oh. 
barber's voice lacked anything, it was a ringing top note. But unlike most tenors, he had a rich downward range. In the film version of Pagliacci, he sang not only the tenor role, but also the baritone prologue, and very well too. You'll see what I mean if you listen to the start of a number from Lehar's Gypsy Love. the bass baritone in Lehar's Gypsy Love, and at that point away he goes into the tenor register again. His partnership with Lehar was one of musical theatre's legends. Each man admired the other. Tauber's name on a programme virtually guaranteed another Lehar success. Lehar's music lifted operetta to the status of high art. But the critics reckoned they'd overstepped the mark in 1934 when Tauber was partnered with the Czech soprano Yamila Novotna for the premiere of Judita at the Vienna State Opera, no less. Judge for yourselves as you hear Lehar himself conducting the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra in the duet Beautiful as a Blue Summer Night. <laughs> Oh, 
in a duet from Judita. Here's an example of Tauber the composer, the duet If You Are In Love from Old Chelsea in which he's joined by Nancy Brown. You and I are words apart and yet I am so close to you. Here am I and here's my heart so why not say you love me too? If you are in love, why do you conceal If you are in love, why don't you reveal it? When you dream of me and you don't talk, from Tauber's own operetta, Old Chelsea. In 1947, the Vienna State Opera made its first post-war visit to London. Tauber, who'd been one of their brightest stars, asked if they'd allow him to sing with them just once again for old time's sake. To his astonishment, their leading tenor offered to stand down for the final night of Don Giovanni, so that Tauber could once again take up the challenge of one of the most demanding roles in all opera. He was well into his late fifties and far from well. But Elizabeth Schwarzkopf, who was singing that night, recalls that she'd never heard such an unbroken flow of glorious tenor sound, adding that she's never heard his like since. For a man of his age, that was remarkable enough. But what the cast did not know was that Tauber was about to enter hospital for the removal of a diseased lung. He died shortly afterwards, the miracle of that night never to be repeated. Ah, 
can't take our leave of the great Richard Tauber with sadness in our hearts. He'd never have wanted that. So on behalf of my producer Roger Bowman, this is Robin Gregory saying thanks for listening and Richard Tauber at the White Horse Inn will bid you his own incomparable farewell. Gerade Kästchen, gerade Lache in den Sonnentag, was immer geschehen auch mag. Hast du Sorgen, Minen, Fahrt mit ihnen, Fahrt damit, ja, ja, für Triebsal sind andere da. Adieu, mein kleiner Gardeoffizier, adieu, adieu, und vergiss mich nicht und vergiss mich nicht. Adieu, adieu, my kleiner.
Adieu, 